the length of the mission makes it mandatory that the bomber make a regular rendezvous with the refueling aircraft. The refueling point is a fixed position constant in all sorties. Long before the KC-135 appears on the scene, radar contact is made. Soon the pilot is in visual contact with the tanker. Head Start experience has reduced heavyweight refueling from the complex to the routine. Most of the boom operators involved in Operation Head Start earn admission to the Million Pound Club. Prerequisite for membership, a million or more pounds of fuel transferred in ten sorties or less. And the bomber crews have a one gulp club for those who have taken on at least 100,000 pounds of fuel without a disconnect. When its tanks are replenished, the B-52 will continue on its extended mission, again ready for the signal which could send it to its pre-designated target. SAC headquarters frequently transmits Foxtrot no answer required messages. Any one of the messages could commit the crew to combat. Because these crews generally include a relief man, members occasionally catch a few minutes of needed rest. With the airborne mission completed, RAPCON takes over and gives radar landing assistance. And the bomber goes into the pattern. The tower alerts emergency vehicles, a standard procedure for all Head Start landings. On the ground at last, 20 hours after takeoff. But the mission is not complete until after debriefing. The debriefing allows maintenance and intelligence specialists an opportunity to interrogate the crew on aircraft performance, radar returns, aerial refueling, and any other matters which may pertain to the mission. Although the crew is tired, it realizes that the information reported here is important to the success of the exercise. The flight surgeon is an important member of the skilled debriefing team. He is constantly on the alert, checking the crew's physical condition. As soon as engines are cut, maintenance crews go to work to ready the aircraft for its next sortie. After about six sorties, a bomber receives a major inspection, during which time another plane takes its place in the head start pool. Maintenance operations are planned for in advance. Schedules are coordinated to assure a steady flow of ready aircraft. Maintenance Control Center monitors all progress. Each unit on the base works to keep the planes in the air. All have contributed from administrative and maintenance men to snow removal teams. and flight line security is maintained constantly to protect our planes and our plans. A special SAC data control unit immediately processes the reports from each sortie to keep the records up to the minute and allow the fastest possible analysis and charting of the data. After their debriefing, many of the crew go to the physical conditioning room for a steam bath and rub down to help them unwind from the tensions of hours in the air. At last for this crew, the long flight is over. And as they head for home, another crew and plane are on the runway, ready to go. This is the story of Operation Head Start, which may become one of the building blocks in SAC's alert posture. Multiply this cycle by 10 or by 100 and you can see in depth the concept of airborne alert.